if you travel from Abuja to the east or from Lagos to the east, you will have nothing but have mercy on those travelers going to the southeast and south-south. The reason is because there are places you will reach every one pole you see a checkpoint. Every one pole you see a checkpoint. Another one pole you see a checkpoint. And there's nowhere a security agent can stop you without finding fault. Either they say you have a, a tinted glass or that you're, they don't like the way your glass, your, your uh, rear glass mirror is looking or that your tires are flat or that you don't have uh, all kinds of things. And those are actually, they are just means of trying to extort money. And the one that is annoying mo most is instances where people are asked to get down from their vehicles. And when they get down, they are asked to raise their hands up. They raise their hands up, they are asked to walk a distance. And as they are walking, the people are selected, selectively asked to divert to a probably ready to check police officer or, or security personnel extorting money and they are dropping money. You don't have money, you have to make a transfer. I mean, if you don't, if, if they search your phone, they, they, they will label you something. The thing is overwhelmingly disturbing and dehumanizing our people. I am not against the security agents. By no means, I can never be against them. But we are against this dehumanization of our travelers in the Southeast region. I have traveled to the North okay, and to the other regions. It is not like that. At one point, I traveled from Ad Adamawa to Taraba. I only saw one checkpoint. At that checkpoint, there was no, I mean, it just so one, one police or one officer was standing and passing people. Okay, and so many other areas in the north and the northwest and southwest that these things, there's no police, there's no army checking. But in the southeast, they just crowd them there. Every policeman wants to be posted to the southeast. Every army wants to be posted to the southeast. And why? Because they are extorting money. And I don't know whether the southeasterners are the ones who are ready to give. Because I don't think you can such any other person and they give you money in the other regions. So I just don't understand. So we are saying check insecurity in the southeast, check insecurity in the, in the country, but don't dehumanize people. You must police those who are policing us. I haven't seen uh, instances where IG corporates or the army corporates and do a sweep. Okay, drive on the road, send investigators, just make them secret investigators. Let them dress up like uh, uh, regular human beings without, without shaving like a, a, a policeman. Okay, and see how these people are treating our people. I know that instances, some instances they have done one or two things and maybe... Um, arrested some people, but they are not doing enough at all. I mean, instances where people have to work, pregnant women, women with babies in the vehicles, you ask them to raise up their hands and they carry them, or they walk a distance, and then each person that passes will drop money. It's not right. I mean, this last one that made, caused us to do this, three young men were traveling from Owere to Onesha, to buy clothes. Some kids just are doing their best to, to make a living out of, the, of this economy that has nothing. Please stop them and demanded. Search their phones, all of a sudden calling them uh, 419ers, uh, IPOB. 
If they are four one nine at IPOB, arrest them for Christ's sake. If you have proof, instead they ask, they provided a money point account, and these kids have to call somebody to transfer five hundred thousand naira to that account before they release them. Okay, has the five hundred naira, five hundred thousand naira, has it stopped making them IPOB? If they are. Has he stopped making them 419ers if they are? Are you not supposed to uh, give them uh, just, you have to have a reasonable, reasonable suspicion before you can even search these people? There was no reasonable suspicion, simply because they are traveling on the road.